Hi and welcome to the DE Physical Education Flip Learning Videos. The Cardiac Conduction System The Cardiac Conduction System is a group of specialised cells located in the wall of the heart which sends electrical impulses to the cardiac muscle causing it to contract. What happens as the heart beats? When the heart beats, the blood needs to flow through it in a controlled manner. In through the atria and out through the ventricles. The heart muscle is described as being myogenic as the beat starts in the heart muscle itself with an electrical signal, the Sinotrail node, also known as the SA node. The electrical impulse then spreads through the heart in a wave of excitation, similar to a Mexican wave. Key terms you should know. Myogenic, the capacity of the heart to generate its own impulses, Sinotrial node, or SAN, or SA node. A small mass of cardiac muscle found in the wall of the right atrium that generates the heartbeat, it is more commonly known as the pacemaker. What happens as the heart beats? From the SA node, the electrical impulses spread through the walls of the atria, causing them to contract, forcing the blood into the ventricles. The impulse then passes through atrioventricle node, AVN, found in the atrioventricle septum. The AVN delays the transmission of the cardiac impulse for approximately 0.1 seconds to enable the atria to fully contract before the ventricle systole begins. Atrioventricle node, also known as AVN or AV node. The node relays the impulses between the upper and lower sections of the heart. Systole, when the heart contracts. The electrical impulses pass down through some specialized fibers which are known as the bundle of Hiss. This is located in the septum separating the two ventricles. The bundle of Hiss branches out into two bundle branches and then moves into small bundles called Purkinje fibers which spread throughout the ventricles causing them to contract. Bundle of Hiss A collection of heart muscle cells that transmit electrical impulses from the AVN via the bundle of branches to the ventricles. Purkinje fibers Muscle fibers that conduct impulses in the wall of the ventricles. So where is all this in the heart? The left atrium, the atroventricle node, the left ventricle, the Purkinje fibers, bundle branches, bundle of his, right atrium, and the sinotrial node or SA node. How does the impulse travel? We're going to use Bolt here to show how the impulse travels through the heart. It starts in the SA node and causes the atrial systole causing the heart to contract. It then moves on to the AVN, down to the bundle of Hiss, and finally the Purkinje fibers causing ventricle systole, again causing the heart to contract. How to remember how Bolt travels? Sally always aims balls past Vicky. The SA node, the atrial systole, the AVN, bundle of his, Purkinje fibers, and ventricle systole. Sally always aims balls past Vicky. Factors affecting the change in the rate of the conduction system. The conduction system ensures that the heart rate increases during exercise to allow the working muscles to receive more oxygen. As shown, the heart generates its own impulses from the SAN, but the rate at which these cardiac impulses are fired can be controlled by three main mechanisms. The sympathetic system, the parasympathetic system, and the medulla oblongata. The sympathetic system, a part of autonomic nervous system that speeds up the heart rate. The parasympathetic system, a part of autonomic nervous system that decreases the heart rate. And the medulla oblongata, the most important part of the brain as it regulates the processes that keep us alive such as breathing and heart rate. The neural control mechanism. This involves the sympathetic nervous system which stimulates the heart to beat faster and the parasympathetic system which returns the heart to its resting level. The nervous system is made up of two parts, the central nervous system, 
CNS, which consists of nerve cells that transmit information to and from the CNS. These two systems are coordinated by a cardiac control centre called the medulla oblongata of the brain. Sympathetic nervous impulses so that the heart rate increases. The cardiac control centre is stimulated by chemoceptors, baroreceptors and proprioceptors. Chemoceptors, tiny structures in the carotid arteries and aortic arch that detect changes in blood acidity caused by the increase or decrease in the concentration of carbon dioxide. Baroreceptors, special sensors in tissues in the aortic arch, carotid sinus, heart and pulmonary vessels that respond to changes in blood pressure to either increase or decrease the heart rate. Proprioceptors, sensory nerve endings in the muscle tendons and joints that detect changes in muscle movement. Chemoreceptors, these are found in the carotid arteries and the aortic arch and they sense chemical changes. During exercise, chemoreceptors detect an increase in carbon dioxide. The role of the blood carbon dioxide is important to controlling heart rate. An increased concentration of carbon dioxide in the blood will have the effect of stimulating the sympathetic nervous system, which means the heart will beat faster. Baroreceptors. Baroreceptors contain nerve endings that respond to the stretching of the arterial wall caused by changes in blood pressure. Baroreceptors establish a set point for blood pressure, an increase above or decrease below the set point for blood pressure. An increase above or decrease below this set point results in the baroreceptors sending signals to the medulla in the brain. An increase in aortal pressure causes an increase in the stretch of the baroreceptor sensors and results to a decrease in the heart. Conversely, a decrease in aortal pressure causes a decrease in the stretch of the baroreceptors and results in an increase in the heart rate. At the start of exercise, the baroreceptors set point increases, which is important as the body does not want the heart rate to slow down as it would negatively affect performance as less oxygen would be delivered to the working muscles. Proprioceptors. The proprioceptors are sensory nerve endings located in muscles, tendons and joints that provide information about movement and body position. At the start of exercise, they detect an increase in muscle movement. These receptors then send an impulse to the medulla, which then sends an impulse through the sympathetic nervous system to the SAN to increase the heart rate. When the parasympathetic system stimulates the SAN, the heart rate decreases. How to remember them? Chemoreceptors increase the CO2, increase the heart rate. Baroreceptors increase the blood pressure and decrease the heart rate. Proprioceptors increase muscle movement and increase the heart rate. So chemoreceptors in red increase heart rate, baro in blue decreases the heart rate and proprioceptors in red increases the heart rate.